Hey everyone, in this video we find out why a lot of amateurs really don't like FT8. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Stuart Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot. In today's video, we address the issue why a lot of amateur radio operators really don't like FT8 or FT4. Recognize this noise? Well, if you ever tune across the bands, you may hear that digital transmission coming across your favorite HF frequency. Well, maybe not your favorite HF frequency, but lower in the HF bands. On, four, on 20, 40, 10, 15, pick a band, you'll hear that FT8, FT4 sound uh, soothing your eardrums. Well, what? why do a lot of amateur radio operators dislike FT4, FT8? Is it because it's too automated? and a lot of contacts, high volume contacts can happen in a relatively short period of time? Or does it take little skill to sit behind a computer screen and you know make contacts and push buttons? There's a lot of arguments why a lot of amateur radio operators don't like these automated or the digital modes of trans transmission. But I, being an IT professional all of these years, really embrace uh, FT4 and FT8. I like the interaction on there. The reality is, and this could be, this is true on a lot of other HF modes operations, CW, sideband. But I notice it more on FT4, FT8. There's a lot of DX contacts on these bands. Why is that? Is it because it's relatively ease of operation that any amateur radio operator with a computer, a radio, an antenna can get on and enjoy uh, making quick contacts? Is it because FT4, FT8 work really well when propagation on sideband or, you know, even CW are not the greatest? Why does... FT4, FT8 signals seem to punch through when propagation is at its lowest. It's not like it came into play yesterday. It's been around for a while. It's new to me because when I got out of ham radio 30 years ago, it wasn't around. But it's uh, been around for a number of years. And I feel I see a lot of amateur radio operators using, and some using exclusively FT4, FT8. So the question is, and I'd like to know what your thoughts are. Leave a comment below. Are you a pro or against FT4, FT8? I do see sometimes on QRZ pages that there is this anti-FT8 or I'll see if I can find a symbol and place it right here. The no FT8 sign. I, I like it. I embrace it. I use it almost every day to hunt for POTA contacts. I make DX contacts. And I still enjoy uh, single sideband. I don't get on CW. I'm just not my not one of my favorite modes of operation. I'm primarily a single sideband and FT8, FT4 user. Or yeah, hobbyist, I'll use. There, there is my, uh, my IT background in me. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Are you pro or against FT4, FT8? And if you're pro or against, why? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'm Stuart Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot, and thanks for watching today's video.